Smacking, cracking, and watching. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe. The South. Queen of the South, season two, episode two on USA. Woo woo! It's time, y'all. This episode is called Dios El Abogado. All right, so what I'm snacking on today is Caveman Foods product. Caveman Foods has an almond cashew nutrition bar. This is made in America. It's paleo inspired, it's low sugar, gluten free, all that good stuff, and no peanuts. All of their products are the way that snacks are meant to be. You see that? Ooh. It looks delicious. Y'all got y'all snacks? Y'all ready to be cracking and smacking while we talk about our shows? Well, let's get to it. Mmm. Now that's good. Out the gate, it's good. James is in the Dodge Ram. He pulls up to this house, conducts his business with this man. The whole room is heavily armed. They got an antler chandelier, an uh, Annie Poss tray. I'm like, oh, that looks just delicious. Just delicious. Looks like a 90s hip hop album cover. He got the pistol on one side, he got the rifle in the other. Like, yeah, now what? Teresa and Camilla show up to this party of the haves and the have nots. And guess who's a have not? Teresa. Dresses. They look very nice in their sleeveless dresses. And what does Camilla say to berate her, to make her feel like, yeah, you might be here, Cinderella, but guess what, Cinderella? You still gonna be down sweeping when I tell you to sweep. You know what she said? Are you gonna wear that dress or are you gonna continue to let it wear you? Cinderella, Cinderella. She's chit-chatting with old money and the powerful and the young wife. Uh, we see Kelly Ripper's boo, Mark Consuelo, and what's he do? You gonna tell a boss businesswoman that the money is frozen? And this, you telling her what you gonna do? No, 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 no. She tells you what you're gonna do, buddy. You must have forgot. Take it off. Strip. Let me see it. I said, ooh, Kelly gonna be mad. Kelly at home right now. Kelly on Twitter looking like, why she looking for the real fuck on? <laughs> she looking for her to tweet something like, look at him. The chicken is made with no nitrates, it's habanero, and green chili. It smells so good. So James is basically the king of bluffing or bleeding them. He's pretty dang on good. Then it, Teresa's looking at the dude. She sees she see Gero. And I'm like, oh. And Gero, he goes upstairs like the sneaky man that he is. And she's looking, she's looking, follows him, sees her old lover. All them emotions come out. And what does he have the nerve to say? His first words, you ain't seen your boo in how long? You gonna say, hey, beautiful. That's it? She crying her face off. Oh, so I'm still tripping off of how you haven't seen her. You let her to hell and back and hell and back. The chick that lost her best friend, she done been held unlawfully, vomit up, bags of drugs in the airport, all kind of charges the chick could have been facing. You know, going back and forth to Mexico, dealing with all of this drama because of you, and all you have to say is, it wasn't up to me. She said, you left me. She's not only said it once. Them writers are on point. Them, them writers for this show be killing it, man. And she said, you left me. It wasn't up to me. You left me. She said it, man. Uh, everything. Because I was like, yes, yes. Be like that. Because that's, that's what we want. She said, I had to run for my life. I said, you better channel Bernardine from waiting to exhale. She did that. She did that. I said, whoa, that emotion was real in that scene. Good job, uh, Miss Braga. You see Teresa in her room, you know, chilling, kind of comfortable. Po Pote comes behind her, like, Chucky, he, he, got, he got the knife to her neck. She's like, how am I going to get out of this one? You know she would have got out of it regardless because she's Teresa. Stay, she stayed quick on her feet. And he's like, look, girl, do not get comfortable. Camilla wants you to get comfortable so she will surround you with all the things that glitter and shine to keep you distracted and off your A game. Didn't I just say that? She wants her to be Cinderella. She, I'm going to create this falsified world around you so you can think everything is good and you can be comfortable in your skin because she knows she's a force to be reckoned with. Camilla's giving the orders of what to do and they're all shooting their little bitty, you know, 2% here, 2% here. She comes with a big chunk of it saying, this is what we should do. You think Camilla didn't recognize that? Camilla did this. Basic body language one-on-one. -on -one. Camilla know what's up. She know our girl ain't no joke. See that potential. Back to Pote though. Pote left her the pistol. Basically saying, hey, keeping it in the closet, it, it's not going to save you. Left her a little special little gift on the bed, all right? We need, Pote is like, I could handle them horses, buddy. He gets his his mobile lab going to knock some of them horses out with God knows what kind of ketamine or whatever it is he's going to use. Honey, parsley, green chili, mustard, jalapeno, and habanero, just to name a few, y'all. I got a question. I know some of y'all have the same question, but um, 
who is that DEA agent? I feel like, uh, Harpo, who that man? Who is he? I know I follow him on Twitter. Y'all drop a comment below if y'all agree that Camilla's walk is vicious. Ooh, she got an old nasty walk. When, ooh. Black off the shoulder number with the tear, aren't those called teardrop earrings? The black heels. She came to slay. She came to serve the children up at this horse race. She came to kill it, okay? She might have came to kill it. <laughs> The rest of the crew is dressed in black too. No burgundy. Last episode, they always represent burgundy. The only signs of burgundy we saw this episode was when the flashback was Teresa in her home, a red chase lounge. A burgundy velvet chase lounge. That was only a hint of that color we've seen so far. Pote, Pote, you better wear that button down serving a little bit of chesticles. You, be you better serve them with that, that thin chain and a little bit of that chest. I know you got some chest hair that's gonna go to Serve it with that belt buckle and them jeans. You better give it to the children, honey. Yes, Epi, this is gonna be Epi versus Pote, but Camilla's love. Anyway, so they know this tradition of, I never knew about it, but evidently there's a tradition of the little girls come out and they give the horse. He switches out with the... Woo! We got some kick! This is how does that rotisserie that Batman was spinning on. One kid, she actually dropped her, dropped her drug snack and one of the horses is going to be a wild card. Whoa, I hope they don't mess that up. Messes up the odds. He's being very, he's a jerk. He's being extremely aggressive with Teresa, saying, you know, basically what he would do to her if he had the opportunity and he just give it a go so he could finish what he wanted to the last time. And Camilla's like, look here now. She's with me now. What we're not going to do is any of that. I said, you better tell, tell him, Camilla, you, you don't play that. James got the duffel bag for a million, puts it on the bet. Him and Pote, Pote actually overhears the guy say he wants to go from Epifanio to off Teresa. The guy walks up behind Camilla looking for Teresa. Probably was going to pop her in the head right then and there. And Camilla senses that he's behind. She doesn't even turn around. That's how much of a lady she is. She keeps watching the, the, the event. And when he walks away, what's she do? Mm -hmm. She tells Teresa that they're looking for her. She says, well, you better get a head start. Continues looking onward. Know that they have a strong possibility that they will lose this bet. So James takes some dummy rounds and a rifle, and he sh doesn't shoot to cause everyone to think something's up. He shoots the ground because, you know, so much movement that the dirt is moving itself. Smart guy. I told you, he's got to have some type of training. I really think he's freaking undercover. That's just how I feel. Hey yo, and Quentin South tweets are going off on my other phone. Yo, let's go. <laughs> Whoever's manning their Twitter, are, are, they're freaking awesome. And shouts out. Oh my God. Batman tweeted me last. Batman retweeted me last week, y'all. I almost lost my stuff. And then when the show, when the showrunner retweets you 100. were able to flip that 1 million to 12 million a hey. can the man give us some more sugar cubes for the horses so they're on to game the men are still at Teresa so Teresa tells the guy look man it could either be us or it could be the bosses but either way you're gonna be dead we find out Camilla's got that credit now she's just chillaxing she's got her shades on mm. Pote with the silencer, man. Shouts shout out to Pote, too. With rear facing, he's got the double rear facing holster. He ain't playing with them double pistols. He's a beast. He got the silencer. He <laughs> getting them. Chevy truck and the Dodge truck meet up, both all black, because what they dressed in, all black. Colors. 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 So we find out finally where Tony is. Tony's people then brought him back from Mexico to Dallas, back to the motel. Oh, my God. Uh, shh. Tony, Tony don't even know his mama dead. Tony's mom, daddy dead. Teresa gonna raise this child where she's still trying to find shelter for herself. Ooh, Car Camilla's bar. Ooh, that was a bad looking room. I'm talking about, did y'all see it? That beautiful bar. It had that dark liquor. Cause you know, after a long day, you need some dark liquor, honey. So it's got her, uh, canter. She's got the marble counters, the dark, beautiful wood. She's got, was that wood walls? The, the large, she had large doors. It's going down. What? Well, it, it was gangster. She checked the mess out of her. Camilla, AKA Ike Turner. She treated her like Tina Turner, Tina Turner, Camilla. Ike Turner. Woo! She said, you stole from me. How you gonna give me my money? You owe me a million dollars. And Teresa quick on her feet like, yo, I, I got this. I get it. Hey, you think you a mastermind. Dang! 
saying, Camilla? She's throwing that shade, breaking her down, keeping that leash tight. Find out James was in the military. So like I said, now we know that Teresa is gonna be the caretaker for Tony, which is good because RIP Brittany, she was a good person. Now we know James' background. We know James was in the military. We know he has some serious training because the way he just handles himself with those long weapons, the way he kills, the way he thinks, he's he's different than, say, Pote, he's different than how Batman was. All right, Peter Batman, gone but not forgotten. We gotta see some more Batman. He too, I think anytime, if they're flashing back to the way Camilla is, or if they flash back to James, how James met Camilla, then we, they should be flashing back to how Epifanio met Camilla. And then they, that would require them to show more of Batman. Right? 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 Drop a comment below if y'all think that's what's going to happen. James intercepted an assassin that was on his way to off Camilla. And that showed his loyalty in her opinion as to why he's so important to Camilla. Camilla is basically saying, yeah, Teresa, you smart. You smart. But James is loyal. How, what else does she need to do, to Camilla? What else does Teresa need to do to prove to you that she she's down? You know what I mean? But at the same time, she's got to be team Teresa. She can't be just all you. You know, she can't be team Vargas. She can't. She just can't. How how is she going to rise? How is she staying alive? Staying alive and not protecting herself isn't helping her. She's got to be for numero uno. James put some money under the pillow that says this is for Tony. And she's like, oh my God, he helped me then. I'm like, girl, check under that lamp. Check under that lamp. I'm like... Lift it up. Lift it up, girl. She lifts it up. The matchbook is still there, but that doesn't mean anything. He could have lifted it up, looked at it, just as well as that. I, I mean, just at, like at the end when that DEA agent was watching them, James could have been watching that DEA agent because he's that good, right? Mm. The sad part where they got our heartstrings because you already know we miss our girl, Brenda. We we actually like Tony. We don't necessarily like Isabella. Look, that's how I feel. So she tells Tony in the car that his mother is no longer there, but she's saying, I'm going to take care of you. These words were not said. These words were not verbalized. The guitar told the story. Who is in charge of music for the show? The guitar gave it to us. And I was just like, yes, y'all better, y'all better play that love. Y'all better play that emotional string. She looks in the back seat of her vehicle, which is not the lemon that she used to have. She's showing she's got some growth, you know. She's still got a lot to go, but she's here. Homegirl was here. The queen of the south, Teresa, is in the back seat, and she says, I hope those green eyes were worth it, honey. Referring to Mr. War, a.k.a. Giro. I said, ooh, they are... Who wrote this episode? I need to look it up when I get done, actually, because thumbs up to them. Find out Tio was a risk, aka Kelly Rapper's boo, who was getting it in with the babysitter, but there was no sitting involved. No comment. Um, he gets hung at by his Range Rover in the garage. Do not mess with these people. They're showing that Camilla is in deep business with somebody who was powerful. You know, they're showing that she's uh, she's she's teaming up with someone who was very powerful, like herself. And is it going to be a good thing or is it going to be a bad thing? I don't know. But, I mean, he's gone. So who's going to flip this money for her at this point? Who's going to make sure it's le 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 legitimized? I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. But he did. So how's she going to get to that money when she needs it? It's, it's, I don't know. When Teresa and Gero were on the side of that business that they met, were engaged in that deep face-to-face -face Look, it, her eyes seemed like it was trying to portray, I don't trust you, but the history of our love, I care about you. But I'm going to play this game with you because I have to play this game because it will, because this game is going to make me rise. And then they engage in a passionate kiss. And they walk off into the open sign going inside of that business and we see the DEA, Mr. Cutie Patootie. And he's sitting off in the cut like, ah, I see you. But like I said, I think James was over here looking like I see you and I see you. You know why? He might be crazy enough to actually want to off Teresa if Teresa crossed Camilla. Who knows what his agenda is? What did y'all think? Drop a comment below. Shit, y'all. Until the next time.